Washington. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Meritrade. Think of Swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, outstanding show here. Every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to under understand defined risk, options, the option market, futures, all the above. Uh, great program. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Boy, you know, another day, another big move in some of these names, you know. And I think the what really made this day move and these bonds move is two things. I thought Mario Draghi, and, and you know, let's face it, all the announcements that he made were what we expected him to make. They were all pretty much expected, starting QE. Lowering the, the deposit rate by, by 10 basis points. and But the guidance was even more dovish than we thought it would be. Yes. And that's where I think bonds kind of took off. Because let's face it, guys, you look at that CPI number that came out at 730 Chicago time, 830 Eastern. It was a little warm. It was a little under, oh, yeah. you know, less food and energy, 2.4% on the year. Not big. That's right. getting a little warm there. Yeah. So... You know, but Mario Draghi, then his comments came out. He started talking, and like I said, um, it's going to be an interesting day in the bond market. No, there's no for, doubt. For, for sure, because the U.S. market, that number was not weak in terms of inflationary data. No, it's in, it's inflationary in a big way, actually. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, and that's why no bonds doubt. have not held here. Yeah. You know, bonds were only up three ticks on everything Mario Draghi said. They were up over a point, and now we're sitting here up three ticks. So pretty significant day here in the bond market because at the end of the day, people are looking at the U.S. data going, wait a minute. We can't trade U.S. bonds off European data, especially when our data is coming in strong. Yeah. And, you know, the movement is extraordinary. I just want to switch yes. gears on you for a second because, folks, if you were listening here on Tuesday when Kevin came on, you know, the speculation, well, you know, of course, we're in the speculative business of bottom line. Like Kevin was talking about the rotation. And you talk yes. about a rotation coming in, Kevin Hinks. Oh, my God. Yes. Meaning into the small caps. You know, it might have been a speculation on Tuesday morning, but it certainly wasn't Wednesday and Thursday, right? Right. Right, it's pretty pretty interesting. I mean, what they did to some, it was, you know, anything that had big numbers on it, and they went after what? They went after financials. They went after the Russell, and they even went after some beat up industrials. I'm telling that, you, man. that rallied last that... few days. So it was pretty impressive, and it's fascinating because it wasn't just selling. When the Russells having a move like that, you know, that's a rotation. Yeah, that's. We haven't seen something like that in a long period of time. No, I mean, you're right. Tuesday, it's been Wednesday months heat. and months and months. Right. Almost, you know, a year and a half since since we saw a rotation like this. Yeah, and you know, the, the you know the the theory behind it, folks, would be that large money managers are getting out of momentum stocks at taking their profits because they made a fortune yep. and they're saying okay i'm actually going to go into value you know we've heard for a good couple of years that value you know is where it's at but get, yet the value kept going down 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 you know so it it came through now we'll find out uh, just how far it goes man i mean yeah i mean think about what wh what they were buying the russell was strong in many ways because they were buying regional banks Right, which is such a big percentage of the Russell that was lifting the Russell, and you know, with you know, financials, Jamie Dimon coming out saying the other thing that that I've talked about on your show and we've talked about on our network is the fact that trading revenues for yeah. some of these financials are right. going to be a little better than expected because of the volatility we saw in the third quarter. Jamie Dimon confirmed that Tuesday. When he came out and said they're going to be higher than we thought, you know. Remember the third quarter. You're talking about July, August, and September. Those are three normally pretty slow months for trading historically. Sure. Not this summer. No. This summer we were rocking the whole time. VIX was, you know, between 17 and 20 and 21 for a lot of that third quarter. That's good. That's some good trading. So. I think with the summer we had in a couple of weeks when, when financials come out with their earnings, I think the trading revenues are going to be a little better. You know, and, it, and, that, and that's going to be interesting. As we're just speaking here, Kevin, this is... Yeah, what's going on? This the is, charts are this, moving. This is pretty phenomenal, folks. When, when we started speaking with Kevin, the S&Ps were up eight points. They're up 16. I saw that. The bonds, as you had just said, 
you know, the 30 uh, had been up three. Well, we're down eight right now. And yeah, they, they yeah. just broke hard here. Bonds broke and and E minis popped. Yes, right as since we came on the air. Yeah. I'm sitting here watching it on my on my screen as I'm talking to you guys and. Uh, yeah, there's some interesting movement said, going on here. That's still for talking sure. Out there? He might well, be. you know what? You know what? I'm trying. To, I mean, we're all trying to wrap our heads around the, the you know the negative aspects. But there's no doubt when Draghi come out, what they're going to do, folks. That in November, they're going to buy back 22 billion a month in bonds. They they went down 10 more basis points. So now they're at a negative half a percent. Yes. Okay. On on a on a rate, and then they're. they're they're going to do with the, they're going to do something else with the banks over there, so the banks aren't going to get hit as hard. I'm not quite sure how they're, they're, they're shaking yeah, with I that. I think some are going to be exempt from that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but <laughs> that's pretty intense, man. And I the mean, 20 billion monthly, and I think it was something to the tune of as long as it takes, you know, the indefinite approach. As long as it takes. Yeah. 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 So that the yeah. market, yeah, that's. A and big so I, I would say that you know. Uh, that the bottom line is that we're in a neg negative rate environment in a huge way here, man. I mean, this is like pretty intense. They're not going to stop buying those bonds till all is well. No. When's all going to be well? That's That's <laughs> and now we're not even talking Brexit, you know? I mean, Brexit's going to be a whole different animal. And it looks like, I mean, the, the pound is hanging tough here, you know? So a lot of moving pieces, man. So what are we going to be talking about on the show today, Kev? Uh, today, you know, uh, we were going to talk about Oracle. But yeah. Oracle kind of pre-released their earnings yesterday, so we're going to talk about, uh, like, is going to cover Yeti, you know, the cooler company. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about Broadcom, that's got earnings after the bell, and then we're going to talk about something interesting. If you looked, Walgreens Boots Alliance got downgraded, and CVS got upgraded today. So we're going to talk about a pairs trade in those two names. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Which corner are you going to go to? The one on yeah. this corner or the one on oh. that corner? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no doubt. Listen, folks, 45 minutes from now, outstanding program. If you haven't test driven yet, think of swim platform, real easy to do. Right as your TFNN, hit that banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade the paper money. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we, got, we have a great weekend. We look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. Always great being on. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank well, you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back.